All right, Mijente, I guess we're gonna have to do this in a couple part series. I don't have video editing equipment. Uh, so the weather's not looking so good, but I'm gonna go show you guys how to mix paint. So I have my super wet acrylic enamel catalyst. Four ounces, I have a gallon of super reducer, specialty reducer, mixing <clears throat> stick. Thanks to Lowe's, appreciate that. Big ups, mixing cup, of course and our full acrylic enamel paint. So, after going through this, it feels so wet. It's all sloshy, I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, how you mix paint is, let me make sure I got this in the camera good, okily dokily. So, this is what was told for me by the paint shop. Like I said, I'm not a painter by trade. Uh, if you put four ounces of, let's say, paint, like right there, then the hardener or the the uh, catalyst goes to the next part because it's an eight one to one in this instance. So we're going to do four, one part here, and then for the reducer, we're not going to go to the next level. We're going to actually go one up. So I'm going to go a little bit further than that because I'm cutting this down. This is only about a half of a gallon of paint. It was just something that they had on on the shelf. I told them to get me as close to the color as they can. Um, so here we are. This is what we have. This is what I'm working with. Uh, things you're going to need. Don't forget your handy dandy respirator. Big ups to 3M. Uh, compressor. Uh, usually you need a regulator and a uh, uh, water air separator. I have none of that stuff. I'm not a professional painter. I just need paint on this car. So I have my Harbor Faber Specialty HVLP gun. And um, now I'm just looking for something to open this bad boy up and um, we will get started. Let's see if I can just do it with a screw. Please excuse the attire. I am just getting back from doing a diagnosis. And I said, you know what? There's no greater time than right now to paint this car. Uh, and I'm sure there's a lot of factors to consider. I'm painting this completely outside. I mean, there's no covering, there's no nothing. Um, price breakdown for this whole thing uh, this was only like two bucks free. Uh, these two four ounce, um, I have the receipt, I have to go find it. Four ounce bottles were only about $12, I believe. This was 17 and this half gallon came up to 34 So, uh, 20 say 35 that's 55 um, 55 those were like 12 bucks so you're looking at 67 dollars so you can do the the rust oleum if you like I mean it's as from everything that I looked at it was only gonna be like 10 bucks cheaper and granted I'm usually down to save a penny for this particular thing I have been wanting to use this gun I use that I've had that gun for God knows how long and haven't used it so um, this is for me it was something I needed Woo, that's strong I'm going to put this respirator on right now man never get high on your own supply Ooh. Ooh, see my color there Now we're doing eight one to one. So we're gonna go and I'm only gonna put oh uh, this should go to five. So we're actually we are at four, five, right under five. We're gonna go up to here. Which took quite a bit of this. Let's cover this back up. make what I got work and I reduce it. 
Well, it didn't come out exactly how I wanted with that particular pour, but it works. Our main goal was going one part here, one part here, and then two parts up. Even though it's eight one to one, I'm cutting it down quite a bit. I shut up enough to go over the whole car and I'll do it again. I don't even have a strainer, right? gonna go on to part two or actually that's part three because I gotta spray the car now I have no idea where I'm gonna put this camera imagine somewhere like right here All right, so we got the paint. We got finally got this thing untangled, and now we got to spray our pattern to see how deep it is.
I gotta take this thing back apart. My paint, gun, needle is stuck. You all right?